Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, June 10th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report, then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know, 252 years ago, today in 1772. The burning of the Gatsby took place as a significant act of defiance against British rule. Rhode Islanders, led by merchant John Brown, boarded and set fire to the British cutter Gatsby in Narragansett Bay. The ship had run aground while pursuing a smuggling vessel. Despite British efforts to punish the culprits, none of the raiding party were ever brought to justice. This bold act of rebellion marked an important moment in U.S. colonial history, highlighting the growing resistance against British authority. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning, it's sunny and feels like 57 degrees with 10 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 820 and it will rise again tomorrow at 506. It looks like we're in for a mostly sunny day with a high near 76 and wind of seven to nine mile per hour. Tonight, it'll be cloudy with a low around 56. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Monday will be just after 9 a.m. with a high tide just after three. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, Tuesday through Wednesday will have a slight chance of showers with highs in the upper 70s. Thursday will be sunny with a high near 87 and Friday will be partly sunny with a high near 87. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crates. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, the Board of Regional Commissioners has urged Senator Elizabeth Warren to oppose funding for the proposed machine gun range on the Upper Cape Water Supply Reserve. The board aims to protect Cape Cod's sole source aquifer, which provides drinking water to over 210,000 residents. The board also reviewed updates on the Ponds Initiative and a clean water center. Additionally, Sean O'Brien, Director of Health and Environment, will retire on July 1, 2024, after nearly 38 years of service, having significantly enhanced the county's emergency preparedness and public health efforts. Now on to sports. The Boston Celtics took control of the NBA Finals with a 105-98 Game 2 victory over the struggling Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic, despite injuries, scored a 32-point triple-double but faded in the second half. Drew Holiday led Boston with 26 points, while Jason Tatum nearly achieved a triple-double and Jalen Brown added 21 points. Kareem Irving's continued struggles, combined with Doncic's injuries, have placed Dallas in a 2-0 deficit. The Celtics' balanced effort and strong defense were key in this crucial win. Game three is set for Wednesday in Dallas. In local sports, the Red Sox on the road beat the White Sox 6-4. And tonight, the city of Boston gets a night off from sports. Tuesday night, the Sox will face the Phillies at Fenway. In top news, activists are urging the FDA to ban methylene chloride, a chemical used in decaf coffee production, due to its links to cancer and other health issues. 
Methylene chloride, although widely used, has safer alternatives like the Swiss water method, ethyl acetate, and liquid carbon dioxide. Concerns are heightened for vulnerable populations, such as pregnant women. Despite the debate, coffee brands using alternative methods are rising. For those curious, checkyourdecaf.org provides details on decaffeination methods, and advocacy groups are pushing for clearer labeling on coffee products. In business news, Spirit Halloween is gearing up for its busy season by hiring 50,000 employees for its 1,500 U.S. locations. The seasonal store is enticing potential hires with competitive salaries, flexible scheduling, a premium pay incentive program, and seasonal retention bonuses for returning managers. Additionally, employees will enjoy a 30% discount on Spirit Halloween purchases. This hiring spree comes as retailers prepare for the crucial Q4 holiday shopping period, despite challenges like rising retail crime and declining mall traffic. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $70,000. Ethereum is nearing $3,600. And Solana is $160. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area, Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference is set to capture Wall Street's attention, with expected announcements focusing on artificial intelligence. Key highlights include a potential partnership with OpenAI to integrate a chatbot with exclusive features, significant Siri upgrades for better app control, and a natural voice. Emoji features may see enhancements with custom emojis and additional reaction options. Apple is likely to emphasize privacy and security, leveraging its reputation for taking user data seriously. Additionally, expect tweaks to the iPhone home screen for more customization flexibility. The event kicks off today at 1 Eastern time. And in entertainment news, in Apple TV Plus, Presumed Innocent, Jake Gyllenhaal stars as Rusty Savage, Chicago's chief deputy prosecutor accused of murdering his colleague and lover, Carolyn Polhemus. David E. Kelly's eight-part miniseries, based on Scott Turow's 1987 novel, refreshes the story with less sexism than the 1990 film adaptation. Female characters, including Rusty's wife Barbara and Detective Alana Rodriguez, are depicted as three-dimensional. Gyllenhaal's portrayal of Rusty as a desperate, enigmatic figure drives this gripping legal thriller, which debuts on June 12th, with new episodes airing weekly on Wednesdays. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the ringleader of the attack on the Gatsby, John Brown. And he said, Be mild with the mild. Shrewd with the crafty. Confiding to the honest. Rough to the ruffian. And a thunderbolt to the liar. But in all this, never be unmindful of your own dignity. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.